Hey everybody, it is Lori Farron and we are doing another at-home workout. This is your at-home five-minute washcloth workout. So all you're gonna need is two washcloths. I have them folded up and then a smooth surface, maybe a wood floor or a concrete floor in a garage or a basement. All right, let's get going here. We're gonna have five exercises in total. We've got 20 seconds of work with a 10 second transition. So first exercise, all you're gonna need is one of the washcloths and it's gonna be a reverse lunge with a twist. So you're gonna put that washcloth underneath your left leg and we're gonna go down into a reverse lunge and then a twist and back up. So it's basically two separate movements. Join me here going in three, two, one. Reverse lunge, twist, back to the beginning, stand up. Just like that, as you can see, I like to keep my arms up nice and high to keep my chest up so that I'm not hunched over like this. It's gonna stop your range of motion. You need to keep that straight spine. We're almost there. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So putting that washcloth underneath your left leg now and your right leg is gonna be stable. Going in three, two, one. Sliding back and twisting. So the same leg that you're sliding, that's the way that you are going to twist. If this is too intense here, you can hold on to something. Maybe you have a railing like I do or a chair. Squeeze those abs. We are almost there. Let's do one more right here. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go down to the ground and we have some mountain climbers. So you're gonna put the balls of your feet on both of your washcloths and you're gonna come into a plank position here, holding that core nice and tight, shoulders are in line with your wrists. And we're gonna come into a wide mountain climber. So wide up to your elbow and then back down. Other knee to elbow and back down. Going in three, two, one. Just like this, alternating knees to that elbow keeping your core engaged the whole time here and breathing, washing those floors. <laughs> your house is gonna be nice and clean after this. It's a dual purpose workout. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna work that upper body, chest, triceps, shoulders going into a push-up position. We're gonna start on our knees here. And washcloths are on your hands right below you. You're gonna come into a push out, push up, and then back in. So you're gonna push those uh, washcloths out to the side in three, two, one. Push out and come down and back in. There you go, down, back in. Still keeping that core nice and tight. Arms come out to a 90 degree angle. If this is too intense, you can do one at a time, push up one at a time. You can just break the move down a little bit right here. If not, you've got that 20 seconds of full range of motion. Last five, four, three, two, and one. We're moving on to our last exercise. It is going to be a hamstring curl. So we're gonna be working the back of the legs. We're gonna flip over onto our backs. Both heels are gonna be on our washcloths here. And we're gonna start and hold in a bridge position. So right here, this is the position you're gonna be in the whole time. Hands are flat, knees are bent, and all you're doing is extending from your knees out, just like this. So there you go, so you're working your hamstrings. Going here in three, two, one. Squeeze your glutes and then stretch those heels out, really digging into the floor here. If this is too intense, a modification is to come back down, lift, and go back out, down, lift. But if not, keep that core engaged the whole time. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, and you are done. You could do this circuit two or three more times through, setting a timer for 20 seconds worth of work with a 10 second break. And I hope you enjoyed this at home washcloth workout.